China is protesting heavily against Japan for releasing water from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the Pacific Ocean. Why is China so worried? What is happening in the east of India? The contaminated Fukushima water. The Japanese government announced a decision to begin dumping more than a million tons of treated but still radioactive wastewater from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. The annual cost of water storage of the contaminated water buildup are about 100 billion yen because the contaminated water has built up at the plant site since the 2011 earthquake and the tsunami knocked out the electricity and cooling. Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings has built up over 1,000 tanks to hold about 1.3 million tons of radioactive water. Some was used to cool the three damaged reactors, while the rest is from the rain at site and groundwater. Various measures to tackle the issue, including building an ice wall around the reactor and vents to draw groundwater away. These efforts slowed down, but not halted the buildup. In 2018, TAPCO admitted it had not filtered all dangerous materials, despite saying for years they had been removed. Japan's PM Yoshihide Suga said the government's decision was the most realistic option and unavoidable in order to achieve Fukushima's recovery. The quantity of radioactive water increases by 140 tons a day. Plant operator TEPCO argues that it will struggle to make progress on decommissioning the plant if it has to keep building more storage tanks at the site. Even after the removal of most radioactive isotopes to the advanced liquid processing system, some isotopes including tritium, a radioactive isotope of hydrogen cannot be removed. As per reports, tritium does not emit enough energy to penetrate human skin, but when ingested, it can raise cancer risks. Fukushima fishing unions have asked the government to not release the water, arguing it will undo the work to restore the damaged reputation of their fisheries. Fukushima produces becquerels of radioactivity per kilogram, which amounts to 50 becquerels per kilogram, while the national standard is 100 becquerels per kilogram. But why is China so worried? China believes that the water discharge is an extremely selfish act from Japan and said Japan is passing an open wound onto the future generations of the humanity. China has imposed a ban on importing seafood from Japan. Mainland China and Hong Kong together import more than $1.1 billion of seafood from Japan every year, making up nearly half of Japan's seafood exports. In a recent event, Japanese PM Fumio Kishida ate seafood from Fukushima region and also ordered the fisheries minister to apologize for calling the treated radioactive water contaminated. When speaking to reporters, Japan called the water it is releasing into the oceans elves treated water to differentiate it from the contaminated water around the wreckage plant site. Japan's fisheries agency said Tests of fish from near the plant found no detectable levels of tritium. China has protested heavily against Japan's dumping of treated water, saying it will harm aquatic life and will cause cancer to future generations. Although IAEA has clearly said that it has negligible impact on aquatic life, China, the fastest growing economy for four decades, is seeing the first major slump in 40 years. China's post-COVID economic recovery has been dramatically slower than expected. Its biggest property firms are quoting bankruptcy and youth unemployment is at a record high. Experts have claimed that by raising this issue, China is trying to distract its citizens from internal issues. China and Japan's diplomatic relations are at an all-time low because of the border and maritime dispute in East China Sea. And by cutting trade with Japan, China is trying to pressurize and destabilize Japanese fishery sector. Fishery contributes to over 600 billion yen to Japan's GDP, and China is its largest importer. Is releasing water a practical solution or a looming environmental concern? Only time will tell.